Tête à la baleine, Well Head Islands, as it is called in English, barely emerges from the surface of the icy waters of the St. Lawrence Gulf. The name reminds us that cetaceans have long come to feed in this region. The inhabitants of Tête à la baleine fishermen used to lead rather strange lives. Their houses followed the fish. In the middle of the 19th century, Arcadian families settled on this archipelago to fish for cod. To avoid storms, they would spend the winters in a village on the continent. With summer came the season of transhumans. The entire population then moved to the island of Providence, 10 kilometers offshore, so as to get nearer the fishing grounds. Tables, chairs, ovens, dishes were removed from the winter houses, put on boats and taken to summer houses. With its church, its school, its many brightly colored wood houses, the island of Providence is living summertime again. When autumn arrived, everybody moved back to winter quarters again. Some families didn't have the means to own two houses. Never mind, the entire house would be moved. The arrival of motorboats made fishing grounds more accessible, and that strange tradition ended. But Providence Island has not been abandoned. The inhabitants of Tête à la Baleine come back every summer to take care of the beautiful wooden houses and to safeguard the memories of their ancestors. <laughs>